hi guys today we will write a program of rotate array so in this program we will have two inputs one is integer array and another one is k so this k value will tell us how many elements we have to rotate from right side to left side so right now k value is 4 means we have to rotate this four element from right side to left side so after rotation of an element the output will become like this so let's discuss the approach which we will going to use to rotate the element of an array so to do that we will use here reverse approach so in this approach uh, we will reverse all the elements of an array so after first step uh, all the elements of an array is reversed so in second step <coughs> we will not reverse all the elements we will reverse elements up to kth index so let's reverse k value is 4 we will reverse up to 6 so it will become 6 7 8 and 9 the remaining elements will we will reverse in the next step in this step it will remain same so this is the last step and we will not reverse uh, elements of an array up to kth index so it will remain same and we will reverse only elements up to uh, after kth index that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have done with the reverse approach let's compare the output of this approach with the existing output which we had discussed earlier <coughs> 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 and 5 so k value is 4 so this 4 element we have rotated from right side to left side so 6 7 8 9 uh, should come at the first so you can see here 6 7 8 9 and then it start from 1 to 5 so we have done with the logic this logic we will use to write a program so let's write a program first private static we are using here integer array as a return type so that we can able to return the uh, rotate array to the caller and method name is rotate rotate me and parameter is integer array and another one is k so we will use here reverse approach So we'll, we will uh, reverse in first step we will reverse all the elements so we have to pass start index as 0 and end index as last index of an array and it will return uh, the reverse elements of an array so we will assign in the same array let's write up create a method and uh, this first uh, second parameter will be start index and last parameter will be end index so this reverse method is nothing but uh, the swap of element only so we'll keep checking here for the start index if it is less than the end index then keep iterating start oh 
dot index and inside this loop we will use only uh, swipe approach the first index value will assign to the last index so we have done with the swapping after swapping we will increase the uh, start index by one and decrease the end index by one and at last we will return the same array So we have done with the reverse of element. This is the first step which we have covered. In second step, we will uh, pass array, and now we have to uh, rotate up to kth index. Means. First, we uh, first input is zero because we will start from zero up to kth index. So the start index will be zero and end index will be. Right now we will not we are not reversing at a complete array, so we will not pass the last index of an array. Will pass only up to kth index. So we have k here. Will pass here. K minus one. This will return the rotation of element up to up to kth index. So we will assign the same in. We'll assign this return elements in the same index. And in next step, we'll pass. In next step, we will not rotate the uh, elements up to kth index but we will rotate the elements after kth index means this k we will pass start index as k it should start from k and up to last index of an array so it will be array total length minus 1 and it will return the reverse element and we will save the reverse element in the same array so we have done with the all three steps and will return array <coughs> rotation approach so let's write a main method integer i will use same elements and the another value we have to pass here k so let's use here k as 4 and now let's call a uh, rotate me method so this rotate me method will return 
integer array so now we have to check whether uh, rotated array is containing all the elements as uh, expected rotation or not so let's print this I'm converting this array into list and using uh, stream API so we are done with the main method as well let's run and check whether it's working fine or not oh it's printing hash code again so i have to convert this array into string now let's check again so we have output as let's compare this output with the existing output which we had discussed while discussing the approach copy it again <coughs> so now you can see six 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 seven seven eight eight nine nine so our program output is equal the equal to the output which we had discussed while discussing the approach and the export expected output <coughs> so let's change the k value and check whether it's working for the another input as well or not so right now k value is 2 so it should return only 2 element and output should be uh, output should be like this so let's run this and check whether it's working or not Now you can see 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it was, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <coughs> so uh, we have k values 2. So these two elements rotated from right side to left side. So output will be 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is working fine and that's it from this video guys i hope this will be useful for you and uh, we will meet in next video with the another program thanks guys have a great day